My job at Turo is to really enable the team to provide great experiences for our guests and our hosts and potential guests and hosts. Everything from looking at feedback that we hear from our community to the site of strategy and planning and how do we make it a, a better experience overall for our customers. Turo's been around for 12 years as Relay Rides. We are in the US, we're in Canada, we're in the UK. We're really striving to create a modern, integrated, fantastic customer experience that's safe, unbiased, and scalable. You know, I really find that the old ways of measuring customer experience success are quickly getting replaced with thoughts about customer effort. We went to UJet for chat because the previous platform that we had did not allow attachments. But then that put us into a different platform for phone than we had for chat and still another one for our ticketing system. So then the next problem that I was looking to solve was to get phone and chat on the same platform so that it would make it easier and more agile for us to really put our agents where they needed to be. The one thing that was really interesting about UJet was the vision and that you aren't just looking to be a, a phone platform and a chat platform and sell things as different components of the user experience. You really understand the entire user experience and how when you allow people to get in contact with you through the app, through the web, um, and really connect with you as an integrated experience with the product, that's a game changer. Sometimes products say that they integrate, and they do, but they don't necessarily integrate well. So making sure that everything from the desk space for the agent wasn't being overwhelmed because of how UJet fit into the CRM frame. Considerations like that were really important when we made the decision. UJet has really helped us in a, in a number of ways, but I would say first and foremost, probably from a real-time workforce management perspective, because we've got some really well-built integrated dashboards that allow us to see the different call types that we're getting, if we have calls in queue, different chat types that we're getting, if we have chats in queue, and where our agents are. So we can really allocate the workforce um, to where the work is. We're also able to get good historical reporting that tells us why are our customers calling through use of a very well-built IVR that allows us to use that data to find ways to help the customer more effortlessly. What's been wonderful here as I've moved to Turo is to actually be able to make those changes and, and have the team that's empowered to make decisions um, based on what we know will be best for the customer experience. Just seeing the ways that different companies did it allowed me to understand some of the, the best of the best and how, how we wanted to take Turo with that experience. I am very, very fortunate to work with a group of leaders who really understand that a great customer experience can be a game changer. I think the best way to be able to do that is to really understand for each one of those leaders what's the driving force, what's important to them, and be able to explain how that customer experience increases revenue, can reduce cost, and can really be that mechanism that drives up net promoter scores and reasons that people really come to your brand. I always like for people to think about the customer journey and not just think about the customer journey from the time they contact support to support closes a ticket. Think about why do they look at your company in the first place. The touch points along the way is where I think it's important to look and see are those touch points great experiences or ones that don't have such positive experiences? You really have to start with what do you want to accomplish most that's got the biggest impact and then continue to reassess that customer journey. Did you make it better? And now where can you address the next point along the way?